I'm here at the Island Players Theater with the director of the fifth play of the season, and the winner is. And this is this is the Island Players' sixty-fifth season, yes, I believe. Yes, indeed. The director of the and the winner is James Thaggard. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. This is not your first go round. No, I realize um, this is my twenty-fifth anniversary with the Island Players. I directed a show back in nineteen eighty-nine. Then did a break. I was with State College of Florida, still am for a number of years, and came back about 2008. And since then, I've been doing one or two shows here a year. Uh, and this is one of the funniest we have done. One of the funniest. Yeah, Mitch Album is probably better known as a sports columnist or a very sentimental writer of Tuesdays with Maury, people are very familiar with. And I read this play just after it was published. Actually, I co-wrote a show with a gentleman named Alan Kohler, who's with Venice Theatre right now. We wrote a mystery in the late 80s called And the Winner is Murder. So I saw this on the bookshelf on And the Winner is and just laughed, laughed hysterically on this. And the Winner is is showing May 15th through the 25th at, at the Island Players right here on Anna Maria City. We're so happy to have you here. Could you please share with the listeners a little bit about what we're to expect for this play. Tyler Jones is a middle-aged actor. The script calls for him to be in the late 40s. I have a wonderful actor that we can get away with his being in the late 30s. Just a major pain in the neck. He is a stereotypical, self-obsessed Hollywood actor. He has finally been nominated for an Academy Award, and on Oscar morning he wakes up in a bar, half-dressed, and fully hungover. The Irish bartender lets him know, yes, you are half-dressed, but you're not hungover. You're dead. Tyler died of heart attack the night before and is desperate to get to the Oscars. He's not accepting the fact that he's dead, and even when he does, insists that he go back to Earth for the night of the Oscars just for one night to find out if he won. The great comedy of the show is... Um, you find out, I shouldn't spoil the surprise, Tyler died a rather ridiculous death of food poisoning and had dinner with many of his friends the night before. And as he's trying to bargain with the barkeeper to let him back to Earth, he is joined in short order by his French agent, his acting rival, and his girlfriend all of whom dined at the same restaurant, all of whom have food poisoning, so now it's four against one, four Hollywood types against one poor bartender, will he let them back to Earth? Spoiler alert, Act 1 takes place in a mythical Irish bar, Act 2 takes place at the Academy Awards. And what is it that is so gratifying to direct a play such as this? Oh, well, it's a wonderful script, and then to get this cast... Uh, this this is the all-star cast here. Um, Pamela Hopkins, who's the leading lady, was my first leading lady, the first directing gig I got almost 30 years ago down in Venice. Tal Reeve, the leading man playing Tyler Jones, wonderful actor, met him as a freshman at State College of Florida in his stage debut. He got dragged to auditions by a friend of his who wanted a part. Tal got cast, the friend didn't, that happens often and watching him grow over the last 15 years is just amazing. Herb Stump, our island president, is one of the finest comedy actors around. Uh, I've known all three of them for some time. And then some new people I'm working with, Jim Falto, playing the bartender, was quite wonderful at Over the River Through the Woods earlier this season. Jennifer Eddy, I've seen in a number of shows here. She is a delight to work with. And her husband, Michael Eddy, is making his island debut he hasn't acted in many years, and this is the first show they have done as a married couple. Uh, just a wonderful cast, and then a couple of surprises along the way we're not going to talk about right now. A word or two about encouraging people who haven't been to the theater in a while. Come on out and watch a show. Come on out, watch a show. It's a lot, a lot of fun. This is a really charming playhouse here. Um, only 137 or 138 seats. We're only... I think seven or eight rows deep. You're never very far away from the action. And it's just the nicest group of people you'd ever want to work with. So not only come out and watch a show, but if you're interested, we're always looking for volunteer 
volunteer actors, volunteer stage managers, technical staff, people who build the set, build the costumes. It's just a lot of fun here. James Staggard, director of, and the winner is, this is the final play of the 65th season at the Island Players Theater right here on beautiful Anna Maria Island. Anything else you'd like to say, James? Come see a show, preferably ours. Come see a show, May 15th to May 25th, and the winner is, you can call the box office to get your tickets, 941-778-5755. Tickets are only $20 a person. For more information, you can go to the website, theislandplayers.org. Where are my pants? Let's huh. make a great story and variety tomorrow. Tyler Jones began the morning on the floor of a bar without his pants. By evening, he was the toast of Hollywood. <laughs> oh. oh, my chest is killing me. It wasn't exactly your chest. Technically, it was a major myocardial infarction, what my ma used to call putting your ticker crossways and what is known in your parlance, I believe, as a freaking heart attack. Where are my pants? Okay, here we go. Listen carefully. You're dead. You died. You passed over. You croaked. Thy kingdom come, his will be done forever and ever. Shave and a haircut, two bits, I'm in. Oh, my God. You're getting it. Oh, my God. Now you're getting it. Tonight's the Oscars. I don't have my tux. Oh, you're not getting it. Yes, I am. I'm getting that tux. Where's your phone? Your red carpet starts at 4 o'clock. I'm afraid there'll be no red carpet. Well, not without a tux. I need a phone, okay? Teddy's probably freaking out. Teddy? Teddy La Petite, my agent. A giant in the business. La Petite? I need a phone. Oh, so you're an actor, then. You're kidding, right? Hello? I'm Tyler Jones. I knew an actor once, a terrible drunk. Couldn't keep his wig on straight. Ah, what kind of bar doesn't have a phone? Or a cigarette machine? Or liquor? The liquor I miss. So, an actor. A grand life it must be on the stage. Okay, okay. Let's start over. Your name is? Seamus. Lovely name. I'm Tyler Jones. With an H. J-O-H-N-E-S. Ah. My agent's idea. The H? And the Jones. My real name is Steinberg. He gave you a new last name, and then he changed the spelling. I told you he was good. Tyler Steinberg. Jake. Jake? He gave me the Tyler, too. Jake. Jacob, actually. Oh, you're making me dizzy, lad. Jacob Steinberg. Would you keep that name in Hollywood? Sounds like you're building a kibbutz. You're Jewish, then. It, it, duh. I admire Jewish people. They're like the Irish. Every couple of centuries, they get the crap kicked out of them. That's fascinating. Now, a phone, this is only like the most important day of my life. Oh, why is that? Are you taking a bride? Is a baby being born? The Oscars, hello. I'm nominated. Best Supporting Actor, The Wind and the Fury. Hello. Why am I even talking to you? I'm the only one here. Now, let's prioritize. The Wind and the Fury. That's the movie. A talkie. Yes, a talkie. And you were in it. I got nominated. Finally. I'm 37. Don't say anything, but I am. Oh, 37. Such a young man. Not in Hollywood. At 40, they're fitting you for Depends. I need to tell you something. Some tickets better than others. I have a feeling you're going to vomit. What is it, old man? You hard up? If you fix me a drink, I can give you a few bucks. Shut it now, lad. I'm not your bloody barkeep. You died in your sleep. Your heart attacked you. You came round the bend and now you're here. Okay, so I'm dead. Affirmative. And this is where you go when you're dead? This is where you go. I see. My eternal rest is a bar with no cigarettes, no phone, and no beer. Even God can't have that cruel a sense of humor. Oh, you'd be surprised. Prove it. Well... Do you know that little prayer, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep? Yeah. You didn't say it. I didn't say it when? The night you croaked, and I'm, that's why you're here. I'm here because I didn't say my lines. Hi. So this isn't heaven. It's a way station. Gotcha. Good. Now, can I phone my agent? Aren't you dead, boy? Oh, don't you get it? There's no phone. Jiminy Peters, you're giving me a headache. You can get headaches in heaven? Aye. 
Can you get aspirin? I told you he had a cruel sense of humor. I don't believe it. Teddy? Tyler? Hey, hey, what gives? I asked to go back, and you send me my agent in his pajamas? What's he going to do? Cut the deal? Teddy, get up. You got to cut a deal. I need to tell you something. Now, here we go. You've passed over. You died. You left your mortal life behind. You know, I felt a bit peaked since I got to... I what? I what? Monte, I am dead? Get a grip. You act like nothing bad ever happened to you before. No, impossible. I'm not prepared to expire. I have meetings all day long. Now look, Teddy, I died in my sleep. What about you? What's the last thing you remember? We were at Haley's. We were eating. You were there, your girlfriend Serenity. I had the Tower of Shellfish. The what? Oh, it's a specialty. The Tower of Shellfish. Shrimp, lobster, mussels and clams, stacked high on the big stick, doused in the white wine sauce, so tray delicious, and very recently priced. Teddy. Anyhow, we went home out of Amazon. I, I felt a bit queasy and... Wait. Mon Dieu! Tyler, you're dead too? Mm-hmm. Why, Lord, why? Tyler, we had that development deal at Paramount. Hey, and your chippings got residuals. And your divorce. Ah, oh, mad, I, I told you to sign your divorce papers. If you are dead, your wife, she gets everything. Uh, I will email the bank. You keep an iPhone in your pajamas? Uh, maybe. I thought they say you can't take it with you. Nonsense. You can take anything you want, but it won't do you much good. He's right. The battery is dead. Do you ever pray, Theodore? Yeah, Teddy. Did you ever say that prayer, now I lay me down to sleep? No. See? You guys need to update the rules. Why am I here? You forgot to say the magic words. Gross, not net. I told you he was good. We are doomed. No. No, we're not doomed. Teddy, nice Mr. Seamus can send us back. First, I'll need some details. Teddy handles the details. I need to know who has he helped. I'm not following. On earth, who has he helped? Helped with an H. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not too easy. <laughs> that's surprisingly easy. <laughs> Where do we start, no? <laughs> Where do we start? Come on, Teddy. Well, Tyler Jones has helped many people along the way. You can name me one. He has helped many poor people in the fields of a lawn care and pool made announce. What about family? Tyler doesn't speak to his family. Friends? It's Hollywood. Don't use the F word. What about his wife? Sherry? Why should he help her? Can I help? Oh, hi, honey. Oh, it's 3 a.m. I'm too psyched to sleep. I can't believe I got the part. Richard the Third, live theater. I am so happy for you. Live theater is what it's all about. Real acting. You're going to be great. It's just regional. Small house. I mean, it's not Broadway or anything. Don't downplay it, Jake. This is a turning point. I can feel it. How? I don't know. Sometimes you just trust in something bigger than yourself. They say it only takes one break. Somebody sees you, you get an agent. <laughs> Me with an agent, right? Hello, this is Jake Steinberg's agent. He can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I can't imagine anything for you. Us. Come on, let's celebrate. Let's get married. <laughs>